everybody, it's Robin Wilkins, uh, Plexus Independent Ambassador, coming to you tonight from my patio because it's just such a beautiful Friday evening. I wanted to be out here tonight doing the microphone thing so um, I don't scare off the neighbors. Plus my laptop mic isn't all that great, so this is the way we're going to run with it. wanted to talk to you tonight about... Um, I wanted to talk to everybody out there who's uh, considering gastric bypass or is a ga gastric bypass veteran. You've had gastric bypass surgery. Um, and what that is, uh, is basically a um, surgical procedure for weight loss. Um, I had this procedure back in 2002 when I was 40-something, uh, I believe. And... Um, at the time, I weighed 325 pounds. I was, I'm 5'10", but, you know, I was in the morbidly obese category. I had tried every diet that's out there, known to man. Um, I tried to make a list of every every diet I've ever done. And, <laughs> and I'm sure I've forgotten more diets than a lot of you have even been on. But, I mean, I did the cabbage soup diet. I did the... Um, Atkins diet. I did a thing called the exchange diet, which is sort of like a doctor-generated um, uh, diet that you know, is sort of like on on the um, sort of like Weight Watchers. You know, you have your certain categories, and everything fits in a category, and you have so much fruits and so many carbs and so many proteins and that sort of thing. Um, I did Nutrisystem. I did. Um, I just can't remember them all. Should have made it for real list. But anyway, I tried it all. I was way, way, way morbidly obese. So I had the gastric bypass surgery in 02. Um, and it probably saved my life. I lost a lot of weight after the surgery. I lost about 120 pounds, I believe. I was down to 190 something. Um, and I finally leveled off at right around 206. Um, and that was great. I could function again. But honestly, if you do that calculation in a BMI calculator, I was still obese. Um, but, like I said, made my life so much better that I just decided, okay, I'm happy with being 206 pounds. We're going to go on uh, living life in a size 1X rather than a 4X. And it's okay. So I dealt with that for several years, um, a decade. Um, then when I hit my 50s, uh, a lot of things happened to me that were kind of surprising, but you know, hey, when you get older, stuff happens. I developed arthritis in my hands, my hips, my, um, my knees especially. I had had several injuries to my knees over the years, and you know, when I recounted them all, I was like, oh yeah, yeah, I've hurt these knees a lot, and I've taken falls, and the last big fall I had was in the tub um, after I turned 50, and that kind of did the crashing blow to, to my right knee especially. My doctor tells me I'm going to be a knee replacement candidate one of these days. Okay, so uh, over this decade, uh, since o2 I had been just slowly putting weight back on. Um... Unfortunately, the, the RUNY procedure that I had, that's RNY for short, it's one of the, it's kind of the gold standard of gastric bypass, but there are many out there. That's the one I had. They transect your stomach, they make a tiny little pouch um, that, you know, your food goes into, you don't eat as much, you feel, a, you know, you feel full, and ta-da, you lose weight. It's all great, um, but... The surgery really works, you know, on your inward parts, your body, and your physical body. It does not deal with the mind, the brain, the cravings, the natural desires. Um, I come from a long line of, you know, obese people uh, from both sides of my family. And um, it's just kind of in my DNA. I love food. I love all the wrong kinds of food. I love carbs. I love sugar. I love sweets. I love big plates of enchiladas. Okay, so after the surgery, obviously I couldn't eat as much, but I still liked all those things. And over time, 
um, you just, you know, the surgery, as they say, just kind of stops working for you. Um, theoretically, when, after you have this surgery, you are supposed to learn how to eat right, and then you go on to be, you know, Miss America or whatever. Um, but in reality, a lot of us who've had the gastric bypass surgery start gaining weight again. Um, I promised myself it was not going to be me. I was not going to do this. I was going to keep exercising. I was going to, you know, at least stay at, at my 206 mark. Well, after my 50s and my knee situation, my arthritis, exercising just became really, really, really impossible. Um, granted, I could have done water exercise. I just didn't have that opportunity at the time, a place to do it, a... Um, the schedule to do it. So, long story short, I put on probably 50, 60 pounds again on top of my already obese uh, BMI. So I was probably approaching, I don't know if I was approaching morbidly obese, I haven't figured it out, but I've, you know, I, I was up to like 260 again. Um, very distraught. So, I went to Weight Watchers, back to a program I had been on before. Um, Weight Watchers is a wonderful program. I am not going to deny it. It works, um, but it is a lot of work. It is a whole lot of work. It is a big full-time commitment um, to counting and measuring and weighing and you know calculating every single recipe you own to see what everything counts. Um, but like I said, solid program. I'm not complaining about it. It's just difficult to stay on if you have a busy lifestyle. So, um, I had managed to lose some weight with Weight Watchers. Um, and I don't know, I got down to maybe 230 or something. Um, and I was pleased with that. I wasn't back to my 206, but I was, you know, I was on my way, I felt good, and then, um, you know, more life happened, um, my husband's health um, tanked really bad, he had really, really bad back issues, he ended up in the hospital, lost his job, we lost our home, we had to move in with relatives, it was a very, very, very tumultuous time for us, um, and of course, I turned to my favorite comfort, food, um, plus living with relatives, they were just uber compassionate and you know just treated our anxiety with food <laughs> and I gladly you know imbibed all that so shot back up to like 250 um, so life is getting a little easier now my husband's on disability he is um, currently studying, he's kind of retooling his life, he went back to school, he's studying, he's almost finished with his master's degree in creative writing and English lit. Um, we're in our own place again, etc, etc. Life is, you know, looking up. Um, and so I decided I was going to go back to Weight Watchers and try to get the rest of my weight off. And I was barely into it, um, you know, had, had a little success, had lost a few pounds. Um, and one day, I uh, went to my massage therapist, Hilda, and I always chat with my massage therapist during my massage. It's just, you know, how I am, and that's what we do. We chat while she's making me feel wonderful. So I mentioned to her I was back at Weight Watchers and, you know, trying to lose some weight. And Hilda introduced me to... Plexus Slim. Plexus. Can you see it? There it is. Woohoo! So, uh, she told me all about Plexus Slim, and I said, really? All you do is drink a drink? And she said, yeah. And if y'all have never seen Plexus Slim, it comes in a package like this. Pardon the glare. There we go. Um, and they're little bitty packets like this. You just break them open. It's like a powder. It looks like um, crystal light. Break them open. You put them in a bottle of water. Shake it up. Um, drink it once a day. And it burns your fat off. Oh, really? Hard to believe. 
So, I said, seriously, this really works? And she said, seriously, it really works. Um, so I said, I'd love to try it. I'm, you know, I'm intrigued. So um, I did. I tried it. I also took the accelerator, this little guy. Little pill. Oops, turning it the wrong way. There we go. Um, just a little capsule that accelerates the whole process. Take it with the Slim, the pink drink, as they call it. Um, so I've been on Plexus Slim for right around two months now. I have to say, after trying every diet in the whole wide world, this is the easiest thing I've ever done. Um, it's not really a diet. It, it, there is no diet with Plexus Slim. It just, uh, the way I describe it is it changes the way I think about food, um, which is phenomenal for me. Um, it, it, <clears throat> it really, really cuts my appetite, which is f fabulous. Um, oh, I forgot to mention. When I was on, when I was on Fen Fen and all those other Dexatrim and all those crazy diet pills back in the 80s that were very dangerous. Um, but you know, in your 20s and 30s, you don't care. You don't care what's dangerous. You just go for it. Well, this is all natural, made here in the good old USA. Uh, made me feel amazing. I have energy like I have not had in probably 20 years um, and that is very very serious I my daily routine used to be coming home uh, maybe getting a little dinner on the table cleaning up collapsing in my recliner that's all I could get done I, I work 40 hour a week just a desk job but I, I would just come home and be crashed out got zero done maybe a little laundry on a good night Okay, now I come home, I clean the bathroom, I mop the kitchen floor, I vacuum, I, you know, go out and do a little shopping. I mean, I, I just, things that just, I thought were just way behind me. I just, I just thought I was prematurely old and this was my life and that's how it was going to be. But no, um, Plexus Slim has changed all that for me. I, I am just amazed and so grateful. So two months. I've lost um, about 20 pounds. Um, I haven't really measured myself. I measured myself when I started. I haven't measured since. I, I know I've lost a lot of inches. All of my pants are super baggy on me, um, which is awesome. Although now I have to go get new pants. <laughs> but um, anyway, it's phenomenal. Um, I'm going to continue on. I signed up as an ambassador because I just I've never been so excited or passionate about a product and its um, effectiveness and how it makes me feel. And so I just want to share it with the world. Hence me doing videos. That's another thing I would never have done in my whole life. Uh, make a video. Are you kidding me? I'm 56 years old and I'm making videos. Okay. Fine. <laughs> um, so I just want to address... All of, all of you out there have had gastric bypass. Maybe you've had it five, ten years ago. Maybe you're gaining some of your weight back. You're just like freaking out, discouraged. You're, all your family and all your friends, I know what they're saying because they said it to me, spoken or not. Um, are you kidding me? You had this drastic surgery. You know, your insides have been altered forever. You had this crazy you know, drastic surgery, and yet you're gaining weight again, you know, this isn't supposed to happen. You know, once you have this surgery, this isn't supposed to happen to you. Uh, that's what they're going to say. Or maybe they've already said it. Or you've told yourself that. This isn't supposed to be happening. This is like, you know, winning the lottery, and then and then and two years later, you're, you're declaring bankruptcy. Not supposed to happen. You know, gastric bypass is supposed to be it. It's supposed to cure your obesity. Um, well, I'm just here to give you some compassion and say, I feel for you. Um, I, I know where you're at. I know how your heart's breaking. 
and uh, <clears throat> I know what a struggle it is to, you know, uh, particularly if you're unable to exercise, if you're like me, you've got physical problems that just don't allow you to exercise anymore. Um, I can't even go upstairs anymore because of my knee. So just walking and grocery shopping is my exercise. I mean, that's pretty much all I can get done. Um, but yet, with Plexus Slim, I'm losing weight. I'm losing inches. The fat's burning away. And glorious, glorious of all is I'm not craving the bad stuff anymore. I'm not craving it as badly. Sure, I still think about having a chocolate bar once in a while. You know, people bring donuts into work. But I'm not like chaining myself to my desk so I can resist them anymore. I go in there and I look at them and I go, oh, someone brought donuts. Hmm. But it's not uh, this inner turmoil struggle to resist anymore. It's just like, okay, I don't need that. Um, it's phenomenal. Um, so please, um, I'd love to hear from any of you out there who are gastric bypass veterans, as I call us. Uh, no matter what kind of surgery you've had. If if you're just discouraged, um, if you've lost a bunch of weight, but you kind of just hit a hit a wall, or maybe you're 10 years out like I was, and you're just, you're gaining again, and you're just freaking out, and, and all your, you know, your friends and relatives are just, you know, doing the p poor baby, you're so pitiful thing. Uh, I guess nothing is ever going to work for you, you poor thing. Um, you don't need that. Um, I'm just telling you what you need is Plexus Slim. I really believe that's your answer. Um, it's my answer. I am going to, God willing, uh, keep at this and be back into a size 12. You know, I haven't been, I haven't seen a size 12 since 1989 when I got married. That was after I did Nutrisystem. Thank you very much. But anyway, just want to say there's hope. Um, Please, please give Plexus Slim a try. Um, you deserve to try this. You deserve a better life. Um, and even if you've had gastric bypass, don't let anyone um, tell you, you know, oh, nothing's going to work for you. Just stop it. Just give up. Do not give up. Please press on. Please try Plexus Slim. Thanks so much for listening to me. Have a great one.